Hello everybody, this is Jay Moyet here and I'll be replacing the rotors and brake pads on this 1997 Saturn SL2 <coughs> Yes, it is a 1997 Saturn SL2 Here it is Rim and the uh, stuff I'll need Because the uh, ceramic pads and rotors Yeah Alright, most of you pretty much already know how to take a wheel off, I'm sure so what I'm doing, I'm about to be taking the brake pads off, the caliper, the bracket, then this, the rotor. It's all rusty looking like this because it's, it's been raining for the past few days and the car's been parked for the past few days because it has ball tires. Yes, I need new tires. As you can see there, pretty bald. And, yeah. So let's continue on with this. I can't really show myself working on the car because I don't have a tripod. So I'll just get to the parts where I can record. And to the next clip. Alright ladies and gents. Got the brake caliper off. It's got a hand up here. Got the caliper bracket sitting here. I'll tell you what. These two bolts for the brake caliper. They were a pain the ass to take off because they had the red Loctite on there. So what I had to do, I had to use this combination with this to be able to pry that thing out of there. So now that the rotor is free, time to put the new rotor on there with the new ceramic pads. And there is a new brake rotor. It's a bit covered in oil from the factory, machining and stuff, but it's brand new. Yes sir, brand new brake rotor. All I gotta do is spray it off with some brake cleaner to clean off all the oils that we don't want. This is very, very oily. Got that all sprayed off with some brake cleaner brake parts cleaner all that on there nice and clean now now what I do is put the brake caliper back on the brake caliper bracket back on and the brake caliper with the new brake pads all right got the brake got the brake pads here got the brake bracket done there now I gotta do is just Pop on the new brake pads, like so. This one. Here goes the other one. It's done. All I gotta do is just put the brake caliper on and done. All right, now that I got that part done, this is all done. I just put the wheel back on and do the other side. Go ahead and do that now. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay Moyet here. Take you guys for a test drive. I already finished uh, installing the brakes. I bled it, everything. The rotors, brake pads. Now it's going to see for a little test drive. So the first test drive since installing them. I just, I'm just leaving the parking spot. Currently in the zone of the parking lot. Let's see how they do. So far, so good. Hold on the windows here. If there's any squeaking. Everything good so far. Pedal feels a little weird though. That pedal feels a little spongy. I don't know if that has to do with the uh, brake fluid. Maybe I just need a brake fluid flush. Everything seems good so far. I need to work on the pedal feel though. I think I might have to bleed the whole system, but uh, I don't have the proper tool to bleed the whole system. Uh, I want to get one of those like uh, vacuum pump things, brake bleeders. Just want to get one of those so we could. You know, do the whole one-man bleeder thing. Just 
So this one that I played with the little bottle don't work too well. Now I'm gonna see. It feels a little spongy. Yeah, I definitely, definitely need to work on that pedal feel. Maybe I'll take it on the highway, see how it does. On the freeway. So the car seems to be running fine. I still need to change the timing chain. Uh, the harmonic balancer, also the engine sounds, you know, also you get that vibrating noise inside here. So the harmonic balancer is a little bit out of whack. I need to replace that with the one I got. Hands are filthy, filthy. Brake pedal is still a little spongy. Uh, I have to flush all this out. Work. That's, yeah, brakes work so far. Just need to fix that spongy pedal. That's all it needs. Just a spongy pedal. Need some new flush up the new brake system through brake fluid through this brake system. Getting on the highway. So far, no vibration on the steering wheel. Everything good. break in here. It's all good. Good, good, good. Oh, waiting for the green light. Brakes work. It's a little bit of a hard stop just right there. Okay, back on the freeway. Just got a tight turn there. Uh, funny there was a banana peel right in the middle of the road. seems good no vibration is too anymore on the highway during highway braking no more vibrations brakes brakes pretty good just need to fix that sponge pedal and yeah that's all i gotta say about it everything's working fine so so far everything good so far Here we are. 
back home safe and sound with working brakes. That's all I have to say about that. On to the next video. See you all later. And this is what the brake pads look like after I spin around the block and the highway and back home. Still got the markings on them. We'll see after a couple of days how they look.